Hi guys, nice to meet you if you're new here, nice to see you if you're not new here. How's it going? I'm Lara and welcome to my end of year TBR. I asked you guys on the community page on YouTube if y'all wanted to see this kind of video and I got majority yeses so here's my TBR for the rest of 2024. <laughs> I have quite a few books. This is not all of them. There's some down here. I have a couple to show you that aren't physical books. But I'm excited. I have been in such a good reading mood recently. Got out of my slump in my last video. I've been reading a really good book and I'm just excited to read. Am I gonna read all of them? No. No, but they're on like the priority of wanting to read. It doesn't mean I'll read them. <laughs> There's a couple of books on this TBR that I either don't own yet because they're not out or I just don't own them. Maybe I'll get it on the Kindle. Who knows? The first book is Fall With Me by Becca Mack. It is the fourth book in the Playing for the Keeps series and I'm so excited for this book. I have been waiting. I have been waiting. This is my favorite hockey series. If you like hockey, if you like hockey romance, I suggest reading these books because they are my favorite hockey series. Fall With Me comes out. Oh my gosh, what's today? Today's the 21st, literally in 10 days. Fall With Me comes out and I'm just I'm so excited. Ready or Not by Kara Bostone. I heard this book was similar to Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young and I loved Out on a Limb by Hannah Bonham Young. I ate that book up so quick. It was amazing. And people rave about this book, just like they raved about Out on a Limb. And I am a follower. I listen to all of you. And if you tell me that book was good, I'm gonna read it. Finally, the last one that I don't own that I'm gonna bring up is Daydream by Hannah Grace. Since this book was announced, I've been waiting for it. I am waiting for Daydream to come out. And then the release date was pushed back to August and I'm just waiting, I'm waiting. I will be at the stores, Barnes & Noble, on the day that Daydream comes out because I'm going to read that book. I just can't wait for Daydream to come out and people have gotten the arcs for it and have just raved about it. So I'm gonna rave about it. I just knew it, I just knew it. I also, just in case you were wondering, have in front of me my 24 books of 2024. Daydream is on that list. A couple of books that I have in my stack right here are on this list. We're going to start with romance because romance is not a big pile. Romance is my main genre that I read. I am always reading a romance book. Even if it's fantasy, there's a subplot of romance, okay? But romance right now, I'm reading a fantasy book and I'm having the time of my life reading this fantasy book. So my fantasy stack is a lot bigger than my romance stack, but also we're getting into the fall and winter months of the year. And that just feels like a fantasy time. That feels like fantasy, that feels like cozy mystery, that doesn't feel like romance. So I have romance for the rest of summer. I wanna read The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston because I read The Dead Romantics. I think I read it last year and I really enjoyed the book. And I just know a lot of people love Seven Year Slip. I haven't picked it up yet. Don't know why I haven't picked it up yet, but I will be picking it up this year, I promise. This does kind of feel like a fall book to me. I think it's just the colors and maybe it's like the leaves on the front. I'm not sure. It feels like a fall book to me though. So will I read it this summer? No, no. I'll probably read it in like September or something. September is still kind of, I don't know. I go back and forth. I feel like August already starts fall for me. Does it feel like fall? No, it does not. But it feels like fall. I'll make it feel like fall. I'll put fall decorations out and all. I love fall so much. <laughs> Seven year slip. Earl's Trip by Jenny Holiday. Just, the cover just intrigued me so much. And every time I think I'm going to pick it up, I don't. And I really want to pick it up in the summer. It just feels, if you, look at it. Look at it, it's so pretty. I just love the cover so much. I'm really afraid that I'm not going to like the book because of how, how much I've hyped it up in my head. Just by the cover of the book, I'm afraid that I'm not going to like it. So I'm also just a bit afraid to go into the book because what if I don't like it, but also what if I love it? What if it's a five-star book that I'm holding in my hand and I just don't know it? The Only Purple House in Town by Anne Aguirre. This is also just a gorgeous cover if you look at it there's like a bunch of monsters in the house and it's about a magical town and it also just feels it feels like halloween time with it being magical it kind of feels like what's that one movie can y'all hear tipsy if you can't i'm sorry but girlie's got to sleep she's got to sleep and she decided to sleep right under the camera so if you hear her just ignore her this feels like a movie and i can't think of the movie is it halloween town 
Is that what I'm thinking of? Just like a magical town. Maybe it's Halloween town that I'm thinking of. I just, I can't wait to jump into it, but it's, it's a Halloween book in my mind it, because of the monsters in the magical town. Speaking of monsters, I Have Bride by Ali Hazelwood. I just read Checking Me by Ali Hazelwood. Really adored the book. And I've had Bride since, since it came out, I think. Which, when did this come out? February? I'm pretty sure because I think I got it for Valentine's Day. I've had it, I've been so excited to read it, and then I just haven't picked it up because once again, it is one of those books that feels like Halloween for me and it's just because there's a vampire and a wolf on the cover. And it's paranormal. It literally says paranormal Romeo and Juliet. I've heard so many good things about this book and I think I'm gonna put it on my list for my book club to pick to see if my book club wants to read it. Maybe next month, who knows? Right, by Ali Hazelwood. Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I have only read Beach Read and Happy Place by Emily Henry. Beach Read was fun. I wasn't a big fan of Happy Place. I listened to the audiobook and I just wasn't the biggest fan. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But Book Lovers sat on my shelf for quite a while and I just need to jump into another Emily Henry book. I just need to feel what everybody else feels when they read Emily Henry. Maybe Maybe I can feel it when I read this book. And I'm trying to read it before summer is up. That's that's the goal anyways. I just got this book and it just sounds so interesting to me and I'm trying not to look at reviews for it because I saw one bad review and I'm trying to just disregard it from my mind because I really wanna read it and I really wanna enjoy it. But it's The Love of My Afterlife by Chrissy Greenwood. It's a girl who dies but gets a second chance to find the love of her life. I've said this before, but it just reminds me of the dead romantics. Not the same premise, but the same like, I'm hoping it's gonna be in a way like, not paranormal scary, not paranormal scary, but paranormal as in, there's a ghost, like in Dead Romantics. That was just so fun. That was my favorite part of Dead Romantics. And I'm just hoping this gives off the same kind of vibe. Those are all the romance books I'm hoping to get to by the end of the year. I did forget to say The Seven Year Slip is on my 24 in 2024. I'm gonna get to that book. Mark my words. Call me out if I'm a liar. Mark my words. I'm gonna read that book. Y'all will see it at the end of the year wrap up. I'm reading The Seven Year Slip. Now into this stack of books. I feel like all of these books give off fall vibes. And what do I mean by that? I mean, for me personally, fantasy feels like cozy. And you know those filters that people put on their videos where it's just like the like orangey brownish filter and they're lighting candles and they're making tea and they're putting a fireplace on their TV because we don't have fireplaces. They have their pumpkin decorations up. That's what this stack of book feels like to me. And I'm just so excited. We'll start off with a thriller, which, whoa, Lara doesn't read thriller. She doesn't, but she will this year. She will. That's the last word by Taylor Adams. I've heard so many people talk about this book about somebody leaving a bad review and then the author coming after them i'm not a thriller person i know mystery thriller it's really not for me unless it's ya because i'm a scary cat okay i'm terrified especially when it feels like it could be real <laughs> when it feels like it could be a real book when it could happen in real life which i feel like this did happen in real life i heard that it did unless i'm lying to myself right now thought it happened in real life. My point is, I don't read scary books. That's, they scare me. Mark my words, again. Again, mark my words. Actually, I'm gonna read this book this year. That's the end of that. Starling House by Alex Harrow. I started this book and I was enjoying it, but it just wasn't, it didn't feel right. It didn't feel like the time to read it because I felt like if I kept reading it, I wasn't going to like it. This is like a fantasy slash suspenseful book. I don't know if you have ever seen, what is it called? I have to tell you because it kind of feels like that, but in a, a scary, a different way. This book gives off monster house vibes, but it's not kids, they're adults. I don't know if that makes any sense. It kind of feels like a Halloween book. It feels like it's about a house that's haunted in a way, 
So it just, it just feels like that. <laughs> what kind of explanation am I giving? Hi, I'm Lara. I make book videos and I don't know how to tell you about books. Okay, the rest of these are fantasy books. Some of these books are books that I want to continue. So like next book in a series. Some of them are also books to start a series, but I want to read the series this year. I'm really ambitious, can you tell? I've read 34 books this year, and how many books are right here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 18, 19. There's 20 books here that I want to read, and I told y'all a couple. So I need to get on my reading grind. No more book slumps for the rest of the year. I'm gonna read all of these. Yeah. <laughs> Firstly, A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle Jensen. I don't have a clue what this book is about. No clue. I know she made... Was it Bridge Kingdom? That's a book that I want to read, but not this year. I don't think it'll happen this year. Her fate is inked in her blood. It's carved in her bones. This power is Freya's destiny. I don't know what this book is about other than that, but it's a book that I, I'm just, you know a book you're looking at it and you're just excited for it, but you have no clue what it's about. You're so excited for that book. You can't wait to pick it up. You're putting it off, but you can't wait to pick it up at the same time. And you think, oh, that book is gonna be a banger whenever you read it. That's how I feel about this book. I think it's gonna be a banger, but I just haven't picked it up yet. <sighs> it's gonna be such a banger. So Let Them Burn by Camilla Cole. I got this book whenever it released. I pre-ordered this book and I still haven't read it. I still haven't read it. Why, Lara? Why haven't you read it, you might ask? Because it just feels like an, a fall book. What can I say? What can I say? But I'm so excited for this book. <laughs> Also, I can't believe I made a video about the books that I wanted to read this year, and this was on that video. That was that was in that video. That book last year. I mean, did I make that video last year? I don't know, but it's about dragons, and I'm so excited to read this book. If you've seen any of my other videos where I've talked about this book, I'm gonna pick it up this year. I'm gonna pick it up this year. I can't wait to read it. Just like I said about the last book, this book is gonna be a banger. Why am I waiting to read it? I don't know. We're getting into some books that I want to make videos on and they're series. Most of these are series actually, but these are series that I want to read the entire series this year. So firstly, we have Divergent because, because Divergent, you know what I'm saying? Because Divergent. I've watched the movies to these. They, they are unfinished movies and I need to know what's going to happen. So I want to read the entire series for a video. You catch what I'm saying? As well as The Maze Runner. The entire series is what I'm hoping to read. Also watched the movies to these for the first time. Was it this year? Like maybe the beginning of the year or sometime last year? Can't remember. Really enjoyed it. Wasn't expecting that. That's not what I thought The Maze Runner was going to be about, but it was fun. It was fun. So I'm going to read this also for a video. Lastly is Twilight, the entire series. Don't mind the sticker, I got these secondhand and they still have the Target sticker on them. I wanna read the entirety of Twilight because I wanna watch the movies. Never seen the movies before. They're my little sister's favorite movies ever, but I've never seen them before, never read the books, and that feels like something I wanna do this fall. And I have been putting these off. Every year I say I'm gonna read these books in fall, and I don't. I don't because I'm reading other books and then the time has passed. And I can't read it in spring or summer. Can't do it. I'm excited for these though. I'm so excited because Twilight just feels like something that everybody and their mother has read. And I'm not one of those people. So Twilight. I have been putting this book off because I want to reread the first book and I haven't had a chance to. I'm thinking of maybe just listening to the audiobook for it, but I don't know. But it's Blood Mark by Tracy Dion. I absolutely loved Legendborn so much. Legendborn is my top 10 of last year, top five of last year. One of my favorite books I read last year. And I've been waiting for Bloodmark to come out. I got the special edition for it and I still haven't read it because I so badly just want to reread Legendborn before I read Bloodmarked. I'm going to reread Legendborn sometime soon so I can read this book. Just another book that I think is gonna be a banger that I've been putting off. We have another dragon book that I think is a bit ambitious for me to read, but it's The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. I heard one person talk about this book and rave about this book. And what am I? If not an influencer, I'm influenced. I bought the book and I'm excited to read it. It's about dragons. <laughs> what more is there to say? 
and dragons. I'm thinking of doing a video where I read books about dragons or like books that have dragons in it. Let me know if that's something you want to see. We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. It's gorgeous for starters. Also, I got a special edition to this from Half Price Books. Signed. And I'm just, people lived because she killed, people died because he lived. Part of the reason I want to read this book is because I love, love the Jesset Air. And I saw a video stating that if you love the Jesset Air, you should read this book. And I'm going to read it. And I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it because I love the Jesset Air. That has been my favorite book that I've read so far this year. And I read that back in January, so... If that doesn't say nothing, if that doesn't say anything, you should read the Jesset Air. That's not what this video is about. Looks like my camera is overheating, so we need to speed this up. Legendary, just the rest of the series I'm hoping for. Legendary in Finale by Stephanie Garber. I loved Caraval when I read it. Absolutely adored the book. Really wanted to jump into the next book after I read that, but I held off. I held off, but it's time to get back into it. It's time to jump back into this world of Caraval. You know what video this book is going to go into. You know. I also have The Wicked King by Holly Black because I read The Cool Prince for a second time this year and I'm ready to jump back into the rest of the series as well. Same thing for the last one. You know what video this is going into. If you know me, you know that I love Shatter Me. Shatter Me is one of my favorite YA favorite series, period. It's one of the first, like, series that I read when I started getting into reading. So you know that I love to hit him off his writing. You know it, you know it. I'm gonna read this Woven Kingdom. I'm going to, <laughs> I need to stop saying that. I want to read this Woven Kingdom by Tehida Mafi before the end of the year. I believe she just came out with the third or the fourth book. I'm not quite sure. I think that I'm going to enjoy this book. Do I really know what it's about? I don't. I have not actually a single clue what this book is about but I'm gonna love it nonetheless. Last book. Last book. I've had this book for, I don't even know how long. Probably one of my first book hauls I did on my channel. If I did a book haul, it might've been on TikTok. I don't know, but it's Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I hear so many good things about this fantasy book. I hear that it's enemies to lovers, but it's real enemies. To lovers, not just, oh my gosh, I don't like you, but actually I do. I do like you. It's not one of those, is what, I, from what my understandings. <sighs> and I just want to read this book. I've had it for so long. And I really don't know what it's about. I really don't, other than the enemies to lovers. That was the last book on my books that I want to read by the end of 2024. I hope to get to all of them, but that's a stretch. That's a real big, that's... It's a real big stretch and I can't stretch so far. So I hope to get to all of these. Will I? Who knows? I guess you'll have to watch my end of the year wrap up. I guess you'll have to do that to know if I've read all these books. You also have to keep me accountable to reading these books. If you see me do a book haul, actually if you see me do a book haul, just mind your business. Just mind your business. Watch the video, but mind your business. <laughs> Tell me some books that are on your end of the year TBR, maybe a couple of books that you want to read, maybe a couple of books that you're excited that are being released this year. Let me know some books that you want to read by the end of the year because I also need ideas of books that I could add to this big enough pile. I definitely forgot to keep up by telling you what books I had on my 2024. Books that are in this pile that I have on my 24 books in 2024 are So Let Them Burn, The Wicked King, Divergent, the Seven Year Slip, Twilight, This Woven Kingdom, and that's all. That's all for that. If you want to see more of me, don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, I hopefully will see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.